thought for the day. Practice isn't the thing you do once you are good. It's the thing you do that makes you good. Welcome to 7 Minutes for Yourself. I'm Christina Ina, and I'm so glad you've joined me for what I believe will be 7 of the most enriching minutes of your day. Let's take this time to reconnect with ourselves and improve our well-being. In today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself, we are aligning our actions with the goals we are seeking. Have a listen. You can do a lot with five good minutes. Like five good minutes of exercise will reset your mood. Five good minutes of writing will make you feel totally different about your manuscript. It's like now the project's moving forward. Five good minutes of conversation will restore the relationship and, you know, get people back on, on track. So five good minutes can do a lot. And I think you can scale it down that small and just ask yourself, you know, how can I live five good minutes? You know, how can I, like in a sense, each day is a small lifetime and how can you live a good life today? That's really all you got to focus on is can I have a good day today? And then you can wake up again tomorrow and do the same thing. And this idea of getting 1% better each day, it's really encouraging a focus on trajectory rather than position. You know, there's so much discussion about position in life. We have all these different ways of measuring our current position. Like what's the number on the scale? How much money's in the bank account? What's the current stock price? We have all these different ways of analyzing what our current position is. And then usually when we get that number, whatever it is, there's kind of some sort of judgment that happens. You know, it's, oh, I'm not where I said I wanted to be yet, or we haven't achieved what we said we wanted to achieve. And what I'm encouraging is to say, listen, measurement's fine. It can be useful, but Mm -hmm. just for a minute, let's set that to the side and stop worrying so much about our current position and focus a little bit more on our current trajectory. You know, is the arrow pointed up and to the right or have we flatlined? You know, are we getting 1% better or 1% worse? Because if you're on a good trajectory, even if it's just for the next five minutes, you know, then you're on the path where all you need is time. Like time will magnify whatever you feed it. You know, if you have good habits, time becomes your ally. And that trajectory will carry you forward. And if you have bad habits, time becomes your enemy. And every day that goes by, you kind of dig the hole a little bit deeper. And so getting 1% better each day, it's really a mindset. It's an approach. It's less about measuring it. Oh, is it 1% or 1.6% or whatever? Like, it's not about getting caught up in the numbers. It's about trying to focus on putting yourself on a good path and then letting those days stack up. The results of success are widely discussed and highly visible. And the process of success is often invisible and hidden from view. You know, like you'll never see a news story that's like man eats chicken and salad for lunch today. You know, it's (laughs) it's only a story once it's like man loses 100 pounds. You know, it's only once it's a result that people talk about it or like there's never going to be a story about James writes 500 words today. You know, it's like only a story once Atomic Habits is a bestseller. And so because the results are the thing that gets discussed so much, And it's not, by the way, it's not that results don't matter. Like I I consider myself pretty results oriented. It's just that I think we tend to overvalue outcomes because it's all we ever talk about. And we undervalue the process because it's just not, it's not compelling to talk about what's going on on a daily basis. So because of all that, I think it can get easy to judge yourself. You know, you could be doing the right thing on any given day. Like I could sit down and I could write 500 words and that's actually a really good day, you know? But if the manuscript's still a mess and I'm still a year and a half away from the book coming out and I'm seeing somebody else launch a bestseller this week, then it's, you start to judge yourself and feel like, oh, they have what I want to have, or I'm not there yet, or this is still a mess. I've been working on it for months. Like this is never going to get finished. It's very easy to fall into that kind of mindset. And especially if you're focused on results. So I think the shift is partially, it just helps to know that Working on habits day in and day out, focusing on building a better process and building a better system is how results occur. And that is very obvious to all of us as soon as you say it, but man, it's so easy to forget it on a daily basis. And so reminding yourself that most of your results in life are a lagging measure of the habits that precede them. So your bank account is a lagging measure of your financial habits. Your Physical fitness is the lagging measure of your Mm -hmm. exercise habits. Your uh, even like silly stuff like the amount of clutter in your living room is a lagging measure of your cleaning habits. So many areas of life are largely, maybe not exclusively, but largely influenced by the habits that precede them. And so 
if you want better outcomes, the thing to focus on is building better habits. And um, for some reason, we get into this mindset where we're focused on results and we naturally start to compare. And uh, that leads to feelings of judgment, resentment, and negativity and so on. And uh, if we can just shift it a little bit and just try to focus on having five good minutes or living a good day or building better habits, then I think maybe you pull yourself back in the present moment. You focus a little bit more on running your own race and uh, maybe a little bit less on what everybody else is doing. Okay. So very popular question. How long does it take to build a habit? Um, it does depend on the habit you're building. So there are a variety of studies that show, you know, if you pick an easy habit, um, you know, it might only take a couple of weeks. If you pick something really difficult, maybe it takes six or seven or eight months, like, you know, who knows, but it also depends like the same habit can take very different amounts of time, depending on the context. Imagine one person who's trying to build the habit of doing yoga every day, and they live with a bunch of athletes or people who go to yoga studios or whatever. And then the other person is trying to build a habit of doing yoga every day. And uh, they live with nobody who works out and they kind of get criticized or poked fun at if they do it in front of them. Well, same habit, but very different situations. And so the environment's going to influence how much friction you're feeling associated with that. And obviously that will influence how easy or difficult it is. So I don't really know that the timing tells you anything. You know, there's all these kind of popular myths, 21 days or 30 days or whatever, and there's not really anything to back that up. But there's also a couple studies that say on average, it's like 66 days or something like that. But again, the range can be quite wide uh, depending on the habit. So I think the true answer, the honest answer to how long does it take to build a habit is forever. Because if it stops, if you stop doing it, it's no longer a habit, you know, like, mm -hmm. and what I'm trying to get at with that is habits are not a finish line to be crossed. You know, they're a lifestyle to be lived. It's something to integrate into your new normal. It's not like, hey, let me just do this for 30 days or 66 days and then I'll be a healthy person or then I'll be productive or whatever. You know, I won't have to think about it anymore. It's like, no, like what we're looking for is a change that you can integrate into your new normal, something you can make part of your lifestyle. And then once it's part of your daily life, great, you can start to look at the next habit and try to integrate that one. And it's a, it's kind of this endless process. And maybe that encourages you a little bit more to look for a non-threatening change or a sustainable change rather than just trying to flip a switch. That concludes today's episode of 7 Minutes for Yourself. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. Today and every day with your kiddo is a gift. Enjoy it. Thanks for tuning in.